student. Today we are going to be talking about the final research report and what it should look like. But before we begin, we're going to pray. God, thank you for these last couple weeks of school. Thank you for the rain that you send us. Thank you for the warming weather. Thank you for keeping us all well. And we pray that we could finish up our school days um, in a way that brings glory to you. Amen. Okay, so getting right into it. Today is a very important class, and so I want you to pay attention, and if you ha can, rewatch this video, because I'm going to be detailing what you're going to be working on for your final research project. Today is Monday, and you're going to be turning in your completed monologue and your grammar pages. On Wednesday, I believe Wednesday is the 29th, you're going to be turning in your first rough draft. Now my plan, if all goes well, is for me to read and comment on your papers and have them back in your hands hopefully by the Monday next which is May 4th I think but I need to check my calendar so the research project you've done your note cards you've done your bibliography you've hopefully hopefully started your rough draft not completed yet but started it but what is the final research paper going to look like. Now this is your test, okay? This is your final grade. Um, the, it is the biggest part of your grade, but you've already done most of the pieces, so I don't want anybody to worry, okay? So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting together into a notebook all of the pieces and parts of this project and turning that into me. And yes, I think I want you guys to turn in a physical notebook project. So what you need to do, if you can, is get a new spanking brand new folder preferably a folder that has those little uh, metal thingies that you can put paper into and then kind of bind it together um, you can get these at Walmart you can get them at Meijer you probably have some laying around your house if you can't find a brand new one you can give me a used one since quarantine might make it difficult to get a brand new one and if you can't find one in which you can bind your project into it I will accept a slip, but I really want you to try to put this together like a real project. So what does it look like? So you have your folder, okay? And the very first thing that you'll include in the main, in the final research project is a title page. And a title page is just that. It is a piece of paper, a piece of printed paper, and your title for your project will be centered in the middle and it will be typed and all that. Um, that's your title page. So it's, it will say something like, I'm going to use Daniel as an example because he's the easiest. It will say the life of Daniel Boone yeah. in the middle of the page. And then underneath it, it will say a research project by Daniel Karosik. And then underneath that, submitted to Mrs. Shuffler, um, seventh grade English, and then the date. There are instructions in a Becca grammar how to do this. I will look at them and I will try to put together an example report for you all to attach to the email so that everything's super clear. But your title page is going to be where you put the title of the project, what class it's for, and the date it's due. Because the very next page, um, we're not going to have your name at the top like we normally do, but we'll have that title page. So you would flip the page. So that's page number one, title page. Flip the page. I believe the very next page, um, I want you to include your outline. Uh, yes, you've already done it, so you would print that out, and then you would hole punch it, and you would put this in the notebook after, so it's title page, and then your outline. The next thing I want you to include is the body of your report, and that will be anywhere from four to eight pages long, and I say eight, hoping that you do not write more than eight pages. That is a long report. It's really, that is almost too long. Um, I do not give you a minimum. I don't think you can accomplish this project in under four pages satisfactorily. So it will be anywhere between. I'm going to say, I would say if you have, if I had to give you a number, the ideal number would be five to six pages of your bo of the body of your report. The clean, polished, final version of your report would be the fi five to six pages. And then after that, you will have your works cited page and your bibliography. And then tucked into the pockets of the folder of this report will be your note cards. So that's the whole report. And I know I ran through that super quick. So do not worry. I will put together an example report and I will attach it to the email so that you all can see it. Um, but this Wednesday, April the 29th, 
you must email me your rough draft. I will print it out and I'm going to comment on it and I will mail that to you and you will have that by May the 4th, okay? On May, I think that's the day, the, the following Monday, May the 4th. On May the 4th, um, what you will be doing to turn, turning in on May the 4th will be, um, you'll be memorizing your monologue and then you'll be, you'll be working on that and then hopefully working some more on your report. Um, but I do want you to have a little bit of a break on writing, which is why um, you're turning in your, your rough draft on this Wednesday and then I'll get it back to you by that Monday, okay? Um, and then after class next week, you will spend that week working on your final report and putting it together. Okay, and I want it to be in a clean notebook. I want a title page. I want your outline. I want the body of the report, ideally five to six pages long. I want your work cited and your bibliography. That's five pieces. And then in the pockets, I want the note cards. Now you're gonna ask this, and I'll go. I, th I might have dealt with this. What is the difference between a work cited and a bibliography? And here's they are practically identical, but you must have both of them, okay? And I know it seems tedious, but I am insisting for this report, you have to have both of them. A works cited page is any time within the body of your report, you quote or you cite uh, a little citation for a book from which you took this information and you cite it at the bottom. You need to include all the books and all those little, all those little citations at the end of your report. So you could have six sources, but you only cite four of them. That is okay, but that would be a difference between on the work cited page, you would only include those four titles and the four citations that you used, but the, the bibliography would include everything that you read to create this report. Okay, so that is the big research paper. So to be clear, I know that this is not always clear from my end and I'm trying to make it as clear as possible and all the parents that email me with questions I do not mind at all I'll clear it up so again today is Monday it is Monday the 27th I believe yes Monday the 27th today you will be emailing me your final monologue okay and you will be turning your grammar pages woohoo that's today Wednesday April 29th, you will email me the completed rough draft. Okay. And then for the rest of the week, I want you to work on memorizing your monologue. Okay. Then Monday, I believe it's May the 4th, but again, I need to check the following Monday. You will begin your final reports. Okay. But what you will be turning into me on Monday, May the 4th will be, I believe it's one more set of grammar pages. And then I want you to record yourself doing your monologue. And I will just give you a participation grade for that. I'm not going to be fastidious about that, but I want to see you in character. I want you to enjoy that. And I, that'll just be a participation pass fail type thing. Like go ahead and do it. It's not super perfect. It's okay, but I want you to do it. Um, bonus points if you wear a costume. So that's what's going to be due on May the 4th, okay? And then you'll spend all that week working on your final research project, okay? And the requirements, and I'll say them again. One folder, and within the folder you must have a title page, your outline, the body of your report, which will be ideally between five to six pages long, your work cited, your bibliography, and tucked into the pockets of the folder will be your note cards. Okay, and I want these physical reports are due if next Monday is May the 4th and the Monday following would be May the 13th. Okay, so when those are due, I'm going to need physical copies. And the way that we, are, we will do this is I am going to ask your parents to come drive them to my house, but they have until the end of the day. Um, and because it's your final report, I want it to be, I want you to give like this last little push. This is your test. This is the thing that you've been working on all semester. So I do want you to give me the physical copy. I will grade them and I will physically return them to you. Um, so, and then after that, you only have one more assignment and we will be done. And I'm excited and sad 
This has been a fantastic year. You guys are great. You've been one of my favorite classes, and I am really excited to see what you guys come up with. Never fear. I will hopefully write an exceptionally clear email about everything I expect, and if you need an extension of any kind, please have your parents contact me. Good luck and happy writing.